So guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is the best video I've made in a while, and my god, it, this is going to be a short video, but oh my god, the intensity of how this could be potentially terrible. So guys, we remember back in a few months ago where George Floyd died, yep. Well now I have some news for you that could absolutely turn this for the worst. Not for the worst as in for Black Lives Matter. It's it, actually that probably would be good for them too. But it's in the worst for everyone if the left ever finds out this message properly. Because we know when the media and the internet and the bloggers and so on aren't allowed to talk, the information like this just doesn't go out that far. So I would thank David Harris for the information that we have here. So, what the information we have is George Floyd. Remember, he died from that nine minute video we watched of him getting pressed on the neck by the police officers, and that ended up started that whole Black Lives Matter thing, started that whole thing with the anti cop thing, anti police, anti, you know, America fucking bullshit, and then the entire America goes into a complete in disarray. Fuck off, Trey. For falling off the washing machine um yeah so that whole thing carried on and it was the main premise of it was the the cop killed him right well now we might have evidence that might not even be the case yeah i'm about to tell you some incredible news that we might have found out george floyd as we might have suspected as we know he's a criminal a drug user and so on. He has done a lot of bad things. All these black people who have done all the crimes and again, this whole big things about them have done bad stuff in their past. I'm not joking. George Floyd was no exemption. And there was like plenty of things going on about with George Floyd when he got arrested and it was really fucking questionable. But we're not on about that. George Floyd could have died from a drug overdose. And I'm going to show you the video here in just a minute. But George Floyd himself could have died from a drug overdose. Because in this video where this guy goes over the prosecution case of the cops, which I believe the guy didn't get charged, and this is like an older video, so the guy, I don't believe the cop got charged for the murder. But the evidence behind George Floyd that could have died could have just been a drug overdose. Yes, so he was neck was placed on the floor and all that yes that was all happening and true but if you watch the video he's got a little white thing on his tongue let's go and roll the clip and see what you think and talk about this after the video you're watching right now is george floyd when he's initially stopped we've got it in slow motion watch as we zoom in closer and closer to george floyd and take a look at what is on his tongue. A little white spot. A little white spot on George Floyd's tongue. According to the defense, this may be the most important piece of evidence in the entire case. Let me explain. One of the attorneys for one of the former officers accused in the murder of George Floyd the attorney for Thomas Lane has filed papers and says that little white spot on George Floyd's tongue is fentanyl. Fentanyl, which he ingested at the time he was approached by police. He says that little white spot is on his tongue in this part of the video. He turns his head and it's gone. But take a look at it. The defense is saying this is two milligrams of fentanyl. And it is the fentanyl that is responsible for the death of George Floyd. Fentanyl, not a knee on the neck, a white spot on his tongue. Basically, they've taken a look at the toxicology in his system, methamphetamine, we know that, but also fentanyl found in the system of George Floyd. The defense is arguing that this is an overdose case. This is not what we all saw in the video. This is not a man being um, subdued by three officers. This is not a man with a knee on his neck. This is not a man who cannot breathe because of what is happening to him as a result of the police restraint. 
They are saying this is someone who overdosed on a drug that he ingested himself. The little white spot, they say, two milligrams of fentanyl. So the question is going to be whether or not this is his cause of death or not. But let me explain something about how it works in a criminal trial. Because the defense does not have to prove that this is the cause of death beyond any and all reasonable doubt. They just have to prove that this is a potentially reasonable explanation for the death of George Floyd. Are you following me? It's all about burden of proof. Prosecutors have to prove their case beyond a reasonable doubt. So they've got to prove to the jury that beyond a reasonable doubt, it was the police action, the police restraint, the knee on the neck that killed George Floyd. The defense just has to raise a reasonable alternative explanation. Fetanine and fentanyl. Mind-blowing, isn't it? When all the truth comes out, and only when it decides in a certain state in America, only when the truth comes out, we finally learn what we're supposed to be told. So, this is absolutely crazy. An overdose case. Well, when we heard the drug drug uh, report the first time round, well, that wasn't a surprise on my behalf. But the here there was two things that caused an absolute overdose instead of knee on the neck. Sorry, my hands up on the knee on the neck syndrome. Can't be that if it's the for the overdose. I'm sorry. Drugs kill, not knees on the neck on this case. But what could happen with this case, I do not know. Because things could go exponentially long. If the left ever finds out, because he did say they don't have to prove it was the drug that killed him, they only have to defend their own accusation of the cop that kept his knee on. And this would be significant ev evidence to say otherwise. I think that's what he said. But it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. George Floyd and all those other people that are getting used by BLM, Antifa and all those other groups. They have no legit reason to do, be doing what they're doing. Maybe there's situations where people got shot by accident. Yes, those exist. Maybe there's instances where cops are just racist. Yes. But the George Floyd death, where all this racism, division, and, well, mainly division from every ethnicity group to white people has no legit basis anymore. This, if you spread this message, will end the case for George Floyd. And it's quite obvious if he died from a drug overdose, everything else doesn't make any sense. The BLM movement, the George Floyd protests, I even got rid of my George Floyd as soon as I found out he brought a gun against a pregnant woman's stomach. Yeah, I am not joking. This innocent man that got the golden fucking coffin and everything did criminal acts. Why am I surprised? So, this could probably fuck up the entire left's movement. They will silence this as much as possible. This was released to me, or I've seen it on the 21st of August. And yeah, there was plenty of stories to cover that up. And now every single story that seems to be covering up that could potentially leave the Black Lives Matter the terrorist organization Antifa, I call Black Lives Matter one too because you've just seen how they react to people. Fucking nuts. I think this is absolutely no need to be proven otherwise. If the toxicity report does prove he died of an overdose, that's it. The left will lose their fucking minds. They won't admit that they have lied to the public. They won't admit anything they have done. But we have to make sure the truth stays out there, people. George Floyd did not die of a knee on the neck. Although there was nine minutes of footage to show that. This is why you never report a situation instantly as it comes out. 
there is always an alluding story days after the event happened. In this case, George Floyd might, I think they don't have proof it, but the police officer I don't think has been charged. But what has happened now is the case of George Floyd did not die from a knee on the neck by police brutality. It died from drugs. So guys, thank you for watching this video straight to the very end. So I must have done something like that you've been able to watch this piece of shit long enough. So thank you guys for watching this video right to the end. And if you want to support my channel in any other way, because we are planning to go big on this channel. We are planning to make sure the left knows us. Make sure the cancel culture recognizes we are a threat. Like me and many other creators, our voices are being silenced every and each day. So we must make sure we stand out to the crowd. And I am going to make sure my voice and freedom of speech is going to be there too. And if you want to help me support this, we are on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Parler and Patreon. We're also on BitChute and we also have our own website. So if you want to know any special details, make sure you click onto the Parler app and the bit shoot so we can get more content on this for the special members on those pages and you get to see more events about what I'm doing it's gonna be a lot of interesting stuff you get to see on those things so make sure you sign up to all these different pages where you want to get to see what I'm doing and we could get a lot of interesting stuff going on here guys so thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one and remember hail the Empire